Okay, so um, what was your take on the game today? Um, yeah, that really sort of windy, um, blustery day, but we've come across that a few times on, on a Saturday afternoon. Um, yeah, first goal is obviously massive, the way they set up. Uh, they're five at the back, I thought their shape was excellent and um, made it difficult for us. Um, yeah, it showed Endeavour, kept going. I thought um, some of us looked a little bit naive um, in our play and in terms of winning free kicks. I thought they'd done that better. And um, yeah, it's disappointed to, to drop more points at home. Um, but I don't think you can fault the players' effort. They kept going to the end and really put them under some pressure. And are there any changes you're going to be looking to make um, towards the next fixture? Uh, yeah. Possibly, um, yeah, we'll have, to, have to look at it, see how everybody is and fit and stuff like that. But yeah, it was, again, first goal was important and I thought we had some good chances early on in the game and you just got to take them. Settles everyone down and, and we're not doing that at the moment uh, for whatever reason. And uh, the four players are looking a bit low on confidence, so we've got to look at it. And that's why we obviously brought uh, Daesh on them um, and I thought, he had a couple of half chances and worked the goalkeeper better than some of the boys that had better chances. That's why I was trying to put him through the middle and see if he'd get some chances would fall to him. But um, yeah, it wasn't to be. We got to say we kept going. They kept made some good saves in in the end. Um, but yeah, like, like I say, it's disappointing to drop points at home again. And obviously, it was uh, Dijon's debut today. Um, what do you hope he can bring to the club? Yeah, hopefully goals. You know. I thought he was a real threat when we played him at their place. Every time he picked up the ball, he looked like he uh, was dangerous. Um, didn't really get it into those areas today. Uh, but when he did, I uh, thought he was a threat. I thought he pulled a great volley and you know made a force the keeper into a great save. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're looking for him to bring. And it's just a bit more quality in that final third. Um, you know, when games are tight like today, you need players to step up and... Um, Yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's disappointing, but just not... You've got to give the opposition some credit as well, making it difficult for us. And if you come and set up like they did and you get the first goal, then um, you're set for a, um, a real tough afternoon. But, you know, the goal that they've scored is, is horrendous. And like I say, the, the naivety to let a player run the full length of the pitch. Marv, bless him, I played with him at Aldershot when he's in his prime. So... I expect him to do it then, not at the age he is now. Um, so, you know, it's so disappointing, but that's the kind of naive, uh, naivety that we're showing in our game. It's getting punished at the moment. And uh, looking ahead to Tuesday, we've got the Sussex Senior Cup semi final. Um, how are you feeling about that? Um, yeah, don't know, really. Dis don't know what to, what to expect, what to make of it. We're going to have to show more quality than what we have. Um, Lots been talk talked about our players and our young players, but they got to show more. Got to show more. Flipping out if you're not thriving at the moment, being top of the league, and the kind of crowds that we're getting. If that's if that's not your incentive to go out there and and showcase yourself, then you know you're on, in the wrong sport, in my opinion. And I think we've got too many that just uh, below par. If you're looking at it through the through the squad, they're below par um, uh, and. Some have got to stand up and show more. Okay, perfect. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Cheers.